Hey everybody, Zen here. I want to talk today about telling other people about your diagnosis and kind of give you a little idea about what happened for me as I started to tell people about my diagnosis. Um, I, I told you a little bit about my husband and that was the first person I told and I also mentioned a little bit about my team that works at Smart Soul Academy with me. But then as I began branching out and letting people know, um, and I really tried to just let people know in the beginning because the radiologist told me that I had cancer but I didn't know the type, I didn't know any. I didn't know anything really other than she said, this is not benign. So I waited a day or two to just kind of get myself centered and then I began telling people that I knew who would be mad at me if I waited until I had all the test results back because <laughs> they'd be like, why didn't you tell me sooner? Um, and not in a bad way, but that's how we are in a relationship. And there's a couple things is that I really wanted to share it with them and especially in the vein because I was already feeling so positive and great and I already felt like I was going to be fine and I was open and there was a sense of excitement that I've talked about about being able to go through this and and it's it's something that feels very very important and valuable to me um, but also I want I, there's a sharing that I wanted to just have with them about my life you know and what happened was is we each exchange was great because opening begets opening I was feeling open and so I conveyed to them how I was experiencing this but then what happened was I didn't realize that then I was going to need to and if any of you that are I told are watching this don't take this personally it's not you it's a it's a me thing I didn't realize that I was gonna have to update everybody and I love that y'all texted me and kept in touch and I wouldn't have it any other way but I also realized that I was having to distribute information or tell them what was happening even if it was like well nothing's happening because we haven't gotten these test results back or I haven't seen the doctor or I haven't done this I was having to do that and my my communication grid just got so much more responsibility added to it that I realized I stopped telling people that I did want to tell so if you found out in an odd way through videos or an email list at Smart Soul Academy or something I did want to tell people but I couldn't take on any more responsibility for keeping them up to date and that's part of what these videos are doing for me too is I'm able to like the communities watching these the, the, the smart soul community and it helps you guys to stay aware of what's going on for me and then the other thing that happened was not only did I suddenly feel like I was responsible for making sure everybody knew what was going on but it was amazing how people took it I think that people not my my close circle but some people that are in the kind of more of an outer circle they didn't know how to be with it even though I was good and so some of them got really um, uber excited about sharing with me everything that was going on in their life currently and I would spend 30 minutes listening which was fine I enjoyed it um, I was like this is interesting I'm the one calling you with news but yeah it's okay I'm, I'm actually really excited to hear how everything's going that happened several times and then the other thing that happened was the um, you can beat this, you've got this, the pump up. And I'm doing good. I don't really need the pump up kind of thing. I, I actually feel really great, which is the only reason I'm doing this series. I think if I felt bad, um, I would be too in the midst of processing my own experience to be able to share it like this. I think the value of this for me is that I am feeling solid and if I ever become unsolid in it, I will share that too. But it, it's such a refreshing new experience, even for me and my mind and where my mind goes when these things happen. So um, I would say that if somebody comes to you with this kind of news, that they have cancer or they've miscarried a baby or someone's passed in their life that's really important to them something real they've lost their job I and mean, there's all kinds of things where we get news and, and you just your heart hurts and the first thing you want to say is I'm so sorry and even I say that when something comes up I'm like I'm so sorry but I think the biggest thing is to just sit and listen and don't try not to um, express anything of you to them at all I would say the best thing to do in that news is how are you how are you doing with that are you okay and let them tell you whether they're okay or not and then don't say anything other than uh, if you can if there's a help thing that you think you can help them with do 
And then the other thing that you can do is say that I'm here to talk anytime you need to. And please don't feel the need to continue to update me. I may text you here and there. Don't feel like you have to respond. Um, I know sometimes when we're going through rough stuff, it just not it, there's just no space to share anything more. I'm glad you told me where you're at and don't feel responsible to keep me up to date. And the other thing that you could actually also say to them is, um, I'm, I'm not only am I here for you, but um, I trust that you can make you're going to make it through this. I, I love you and I know you and I trust you. And you can I know you'll reach out if you need me. Try not to give them a ton of advice. Uh, I asked my community not to share any cancer treatments, diagnosis, books, ideas, unless it opened them, because that means it, in the thought of, I need to get this information to Zen, they, can, they feel an expanded feeling that is true and that needs to happen. But other than that, keep, keep the stuff to yourself unless you feel like an opening, that it's gonna be okay. A lot of times what I've found is that people want to fix it because it's an action they need to take to make themselves feel better and so they'll start sending a ton i know i did this when i was younger and i wasn't using my igs uh, on a regular basis i would i would do a bunch of research for them and send them a ton of information and um, that onslaught can be very overwhelming and it it doesn't necessarily there's a how do i put this i believe in flow and I believe and, and have proven in my own life that if you follow this sense of flow, it's just part of what I teach at Smart Soul Academy, that you are naturally led from the perfect thing to the next right thing to the next perfect thing to exactly what you need, when you need it, and how you need it. And you almost always have what you need right before you need it. You need to make a decision and you'll stumble across something, you know? And, um, in sending them all that stuff, unless it opens you, unless you feel a relaxed certainty that this is something that would benefit them, in sending that all to them or doing a ton of over research or trying to convince them that they need to know certain things, you can be taking them off their own path, especially if it's coming out of your own worry and anxiety and upset. You could be distracting them and moving them away or even having them feel responsible to do what you need so that you feel better about what's happening in their lives. And, and if we clear that all away and allow the person to just be with who, where they're at and reach out to who they need to and find the information organically as God, the universe, all that is, is bringing it to them. Because I too truly believe we're each supported moment to moment to moment and we get in the way of that with our mind. Letting them find it organically is going to be the most powerful and healthy way for them to be led. It's called synchronicity and magic. And they'll be led. And so really in helping someone with this, number one, if you have this experience happening, don't overreach out. Sometimes it can feel like dire. I need to let everybody know. But you, you're going to be responsible for those people's keeping them up to date. And that can be overwhelming as things pro progress. Okay, so do it slowly and with care and maybe even group group it somehow together um, don't go into i'm sorry and then spilling your guts listen say how are you how are how is this for you what's happening for you uh, don't over give them a complete onslaught offer your help but take the responsibility off of you don't have to reach out to me again i'd love to know but i know how hard it could be to keep to keep track of everybody that needs information i'm here if you need me i love you i trust you and then last but not least, don't get your own worry and upset in the way of trying to solve this or fix it for them unless it opens you, because it can be too much. Luckily, I have a, a whole group of people in my life that are using their internal guidance system, and, and it's been just amazing. There's only been a couple people who've moved me, tried to move me into different directions and healing modalities and different things. And when I get there, I do check them out. It is overwhelming. I'm like, I don't even know how to use all this. This isn't, this isn't where I'm at. So... Um, I love you guys. S go ahead and subscribe, uh, please, so that you can get these. Let other people know about this information if, it, if you think it would be helpful on, in their journey of something that's happening. And um, I love you very much, and I hope you have a great day.